Well, I, I have to say um, that we have a great deal of freedom. The one thing that I am sure of when I'm living in an RSCJ community is that early in the morning people are praying. I can smell the incense, you can kind of smell the candle wax, you know what's going on, the coffee pot is on, the coffee is disappearing, and there's very quiet in activity in the house. So I know that people have that time early in the morning in communities. Um, in general, I think we love to organize beautiful prayer services for large gatherings, but that we find it difficult to do devotional prayer together just because people are so used to that very still, quiet, contemplative, personal prayer. In the scripture, we're the ones that want to go into the room and shut the door, and <laughs> that's where it happens. But you won't find us doing office in the morning and office in the evening or a lot of other things um, that other congregations do uh, weave into their day together. And I think we like to organize prayers that inter to integrate world religions into them. We feel very comfortable using images that might have Buddhist overtones or Native American overtones. We have a, um, a world view and a world spirituality that um, nourishes us and uh, I'm not sure that that's true of, of all religious congregations either, but I love it. <laughs>